Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, uh, this is Stunt Collector here. I'm sorry if you see this reflection going on here with because of my flash. Um, I'm still in the middle of a power outage at my house, but for some reason they're not putting power through our house. It's kind of stupid because we're kind of connected to the house that is, I mean, we're connected to the generator that's connected to the school behind us. I'm guessing they think that's now a priority, I guess. And it's just our street, whereas the other rest of our neighborhood has it. So it's kind of stupid, but yeah. Uh, I got the Cobra Troop here. It looks pretty cool. I heard this guy is going to be pretty hard to find. I just found it on a cart. Not, not on just someone's cart. It's just uh, like one of those Target carts. I was like, oh, I'll snag it real quick. But yeah. Um... I was actually very happy that I found them. Uh, and yeah, so uh, this is what it looks like in the front right here. If I can try to angle it so that way it doesn't get a bunch of reflection, but that's going to be a little tough for me to do. I'm sorry. Ah, it's so inconvenient about the power outage, but here's the side. Here's the back with the island. Here's the top, 12th figure in the wave. The other side. And then bomb with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. All right, so here's the Cobra Trooper out of the packaging, looking sick. He has a bunch of accessories, so let's go over those first. So he has this sniper right here, looks cool. He has that like little peg there. I believe that you just, yeah, you plug it in right here. You a bunch of peg holes right there that you could just plug it in for this other blaster too. It's, uh, I, th I guess this is supposed to be like a little machine gun. It's pretty cool. It has that thing out there, so you can put that into. And yeah, you you have these goggles here. They kind of look like snake eyes, kind of. So you just wrap it around his head You're like this. I'm sorry that it does not look good on my camera because the whole power outage thing. I was not sure if this would be better or uh, just regular light, uh, no light or flash, I mean. But that looks cool. And it comes with this hat or helmet that you put on there, nice detailing. And then you just put that on top too. And it's nice and snug, so it's not that hard. It's not that easy to take off and it takes a little bit of force to take it off. But that looks really cool. I love how it like, covers up the entire I part there with the mask and then he come he comes with this knife that one looks cool this knife looks pretty cool let's see if I can get my f camera to focus there we go get that nice I think that's supposed to be a snake and you got that little holster for the knife right here it's supposed to go in like that and boom just like that and then he has two of these blasters or pistols, I mean. Just all black. I wish they could do a little more detailing with the paint, but it's not bothering me that much with the tinier guns. But with the bigger ones, I think they could put a little more detail onto it. But oh well. And then I think one just, I think only one goes right here. And then, let's see here. And then there's another holster behind them. Just plug that in like that. And then, yeah, and then I th don't really know what this is. I think that's supposed to be going on his bicep or something. So I think, I think you're supposed to get up there somehow. So maybe I could take off the arm and then plug it in like this, maybe. Or maybe, I'm not sure if it's supposed to go up his arm, maybe. Oh, maybe it's supposed to go up like that. I'm not really sure. If you guys know, then like let me know in the comic in comments. I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to go right there or not, but that's where it's gonna go for right now. 
maybe is, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it's supposed to go. I'm not sure though. So let me know if I'm wrong. And then, yeah, like I said, with these, they have this little stick or peg right here. You just plug it in like this. And there. And then this right here. You probably go in like this so that way it fits. And then boom. You got all your guns and weapons hooked up to them like that. Looking pretty cool. And then, yeah, that's all we got for accessories. But let's go over the guy itself. So, yeah. Maybe I should take this off because I already went over the goggles and stuff. So maybe go over his actual face. So I like the look of his face right here. The head detail. Kind of reminds me of Sub-Zero a little bit. So yeah. And then the shirt looks cool. The vest looks cool. I wish they could do a little more paint detail again. You got that cobra eye right there on his chest. Um... And not much paint detail, but nice, like, sculpt throughout. And then just regular blue pants. Kind of gives me that, like, you get that little bit of black wash, I think, throughout the, this part. Kind of give it a, like, whoops, sorry, I hit the camera. Worn look, kind of. Uh, you get knee pads. Nice metallic gray there. And same deal with the shin guards. You get these toe guards right here. Blue boots. Um, and then you get these forearm guards right here. Uh, knuckle. Ooh, I like that sculpt right there. They should, they should have made that red, though. That cobra eye that is on his hand. They should have done that. Same thing with the other arm. And then you get this nice little darker blue detail around the shoulder and then bicep area and the same thing well the inner bicep but yeah besides that let's go over his articulation so his head i think he has two joints like usual for gi joe so first off top ball joint for the head goes down that far goes up that far and then with the bottom ball joint at the neck you get him look down that far with all of them you can get him look up that far with all of them you get side to side motion, you get a head pivot with the neck too, that helps. Um, his arms, those shoulders can move out that far. You get 360 rotation, that kind of messed up there, but there we go. 360 rotation, you got a butterfly joint. That one, these, this one's a little bit better than the other G.I. Joe figures. Uh, you got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. His wrists can hinge side to side and then 360 rotation um i think he has an ab crunch but it's going to be blocked because of the vest right here and then backwards same deal and he has a ball joint at the waist so you can get him to go down that far same deal that's skin way backwards a little bit um you get him to go to the side a little bit the other side a little bit and a little bit of rotation you, uh, he has drop down hips so you get him to kick out that far, forward, very far, really good. And then backwards, decent amount. He has a thigh cut, he has double jointed knees, there we go. He has a shin cut, and then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. All right, so really cool figure. I wish they added a little more paint detail on this arm and with the long, uh, the bigger uh, weapons um, and a little bit of the vest, but that's really it. That I've got really good articulation, really cool figure. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, 
more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.